In this video, we discuss the Universal Serial Bus, or USB for short. USB is a form of transmitting data, as the name would suggest, in a serial manner. It's become the most common type of input and output found on most home computers. And this has led to standard method being developed for transferring data between devices. USB allows for both half duplex and full duplex data transmission. If we take a look inside a USB cable, we'll actually find four separate shielded cables. We have a black and a red cable. Um, they're related to dealing with the power. And then we have a green and a white cable, which allow us to send data in two separate directions. There are many benefits of the Universal Serial Bus. It's become an industry standard, so it's now very well supported. And devices connected via USB can be automatically detected and the appropriate device drivers can be loaded up if present. There's also no need for a separate power source for most USB connected devices as it supplies its own power. And it's already designed to be backwardly compatible with older versions of the technology. Adding extra USB ports to an existing device is easy with a USB hub. And the USB protocol itself is capable of notifying the transmitter to retransmit any data if it detects errors. There are some drawbacks of the Universal Serial Bus. And the main one is the limited distance. It can really only support a cable length of around 5 meters. USB hubs are needed to extend this further. Although overall the backwards compatibility is an advantage, early versions of the standard, for example version 1, are often no longer supported. And there are data transfer limits. Even the latest versions such as USB 3 and USB-C have slower data speeds than the potential offered by some Ethernet cables. Here's a summary of everything we've discussed so far. Pause the video and take some notes. So that's technically everything you need to know for the IGCSE exam. If you'd like to know a little bit more about the latest version of the USB technology, carry on watching this video. So USB has carried on evolving ever since it's been created. And looking at the image on the screen now, you might recognize some of these different connectors and ports. USB-C, which is currently at the time of making this video the latest version, has now become common in laptops, tablets and smartphones. It has a 24 pin symmetrical connector, which means it fits into USB-C ports either way round, unlike all previous versions. There are several advances in the technology in this latest version. It's smaller and thinner. It offers 100 watts or 20 volts of power. So now we can charge full size devices and it supports up to 10 gigabits per second of data transfer, which means it can handle 4K HD video streaming. Thank you.